Hi, this is another instructional video for Gunslinger Well Pumps. Uh, this video is just to show you how easy it is to shorten the length of your well pump. It's something that anyone can do in basically like five minutes. Um, the first step is you want to straighten your pump out all the way uh, so it's all nice and straight. I just, I'm doing this in the driveway just to show you how easy it is to do it. Um, and then the second thing you want to do once you get it straight is make sure the handle's pushed all the way in, okay? If the handle's out here and you go and you do your cuts and make your adjustments down at the bottom, then when you go to pump it, it it's not gonna pump right. It's gonna hit uh, either the bottom too soon or the top too soon. So, and when you measure, you wanna do your measurement. Typically, you're gonna wanna measure from the, the well clamp down if you're gonna say you're doing 40 feet or whatever. Measure from this part down because this this part, the spout, is going to be sticking up over. So this is the part that goes from the top of the well housing. So that's where I make my measurements from. Uh, if you're doing it by yourself, you can do it that way. It's easier if you have someone else to help pull on it, give you some tension and stuff. Today though, I'm just going to show you. You can do it easily. Um, I'm just going to do it by setting a weight on the top end. The handle's pushed all the way in. And now we're going to go to the bottom. I've already measured where I want to cut this at. We're, we're going to call it 35 feet for today's video. So let's go down here. So I'm just going to pull it straight. That's why you want the weight down there. And I just, I had a mark already here. So, um, Wherever you want it, say you, if you want it 40 feet, and this is where you hit 40 feet, that's where you're going to cut it. Because we're going to first cut all the tubing, and then we're going to cut back just the black outside tubing to create um, a new uh, mount for our well housing. Okay, so this is the bottom end, the PVC that screws on the bottom. We've taken that off, and so now, just to show you how easy it is, I'm just going to use a pocket knife and we're going to cut this one right here. And like I said, we're just going to cut all the way around. Expose the pecs underneath. And I have some fancier cutters here, but I just wanted to show you that you only really need a pocket knife and a pair of pliers to shorten this. Okay, so just cleaning that cut up just a little bit so it's all nice and even. Okay, now what you got to do is I got this length of this is everything I cut off here. All right, well, we got to remove this bottom section. Why don't you zoom up here, Katie? Okay. So you've got the pump mechanism at the very bottom. First thing you want to do is you want to take off the stainless steel uh, nylon lock washer or lock lock nut, and I'm just going to set that aside. I'm going to set the washer aside. Remember, the rubber washer goes on first. That's what creates the seal with the pump mechanism. When you put it back on, it goes rubber rubber one first, then the metal washer that supports it, and then your ni nylon lock nut. So you're going to take the shuttle completely off. Now, be careful on this. You know, you don't want to cut yourself, but um, there's a barbed fitting that puts this up into this pex. And we're just going to carefully, and it's made from aluminum, so you don't want to get too, too vicious with it. Just gonna slowly shave away a side. Again, you can use different tools. Again, I'm showing you a way to do is with, use it with a knife. And then I just took my pliers and I just pull it straight out. Okay. So as you see, this barbed fitting—that's the part that goes in the pex. Okay. So now we've got all the bottom end out. Um, also, so now what we've got to do is, so this was the fitting that our PVC section 
you know, screwed onto. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we've gotta cut back the black tubing just the right length so that we got enough white tubing to run our pump, but not to where, you know, we snag it when we're, we're pumping. Um, so I'll show you a trick for measuring it correctly. So, I'm gonna take our tubing here and I'm gonna cut away just a little bit more of this black tubing just so I can hold on to the pecs better. I'm being careful that I don't cut and put a big cut into the pecs. I'm just kinda going around the outside. And I only do this so I can tug on it a little bit. I might, I'm holding onto the black and pulling this just to make sure that my pecs, I have as much slack out of it as possible. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my tubing, or my bottom section here and I'm looking at the top edge of this bottom fitting. So do you have that zoomed in good so they can see that? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this is gonna go in like this, so it's gonna stick out a little further. So I'm gonna give myself about one inch from the top of this fitting to where I want my pecs. So that's about where my pecs is gonna be sitting. And then, and you don't want to do too much. It's better to be closer than further, so I'm going to give it, a, it, that's about one inch, okay? And then I'm going to trace my black pipe up, and I'm going to cut, it, cut the black pipe right at where it comes to the bot end of this fitting, so right there, okay? And try to do an even cut. No, don't do it diagonally or anything. And you're just going to cut it enough. Try not to damage the pecs in any way. If you nick it, it's not the end of the world. It's pretty durable stuff. And I'm taking off that much tubing. Okay. Now I'm just going to make sure this edge is clean. Looks good. Now we, we put a, in every kit, we put an extra bottom fitting in. Um, it's just for this, just in case people want it. But if you need to, um, give us a call. We can tell you where to buy these if you need them. All it is is a three-quarter inch uh, NPT um, and a half-inch distribution push fitting. That's all it is. Okay. So now, before I go too far, you can test fit it by just pushing it on. After you test fit it, if you want to, you can pull these off, but you have to twist and pull really hard to get them off. Um, I know this is where I'm gonna be putting this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of sealant, glue or, or something, uh, and I'm just gonna put a little bit, not much. This is just kind of a fail safe, right around the edge here, um, before I put my fitting on. I just like to be double sure, and we glue most of our um, most of our pumps that we ship out. So, okay, and then I'm just gonna put this fitting on, make sure it's pushed all the way in. Now, all we gotta do is put this barbed fitting back in here. I just use a pair of pliers, and you're gonna want to zoom in on this, but. I just close the pair of pliers so that if I push, I'm pushing up against this collar right here and I'm not going to bend it. So you got to be kind of careful. And all I'm going to do is just carefully twist and push and it'll work in there. Be patient, don't push too hard. There. So it's in there. It's not coming out. Put the shuttle back on. The, the gap, the notch, has to face the top of the pump. Okay? Otherwise it's not going to pump. So that's what lets water go back and forth. So the notch faces the top. Again, you're going to go rubber washer. metal washer. Some of our newer pumps, it's a one-piece washer, so that makes it easier. 
and then your locking nut and I just kind of hold the it tight and give it about a turn or so I don't crank it down I don't want to strip the threads and that's not going to go anywhere so this is what it should look like you got your fitting you put your bottom end back on when you tighten it don't hold on to the tubing hold on to the fitting so you don't twist the fitting around the tubing and loosen it and you're all done shortening this one now to test it come on up Maybe. you know you can test it in just a bucket of water if you want but what you're looking for is when you pull it out you don't want it to catch if it's catching when when you get to the top and you're trying to push it down that means you didn't cut the black tubing back far enough. And what you want to go do is you want to take that off, twist the black three quarter inch fitting and pull it off and cut about another inch and then put it back on. You don't need to take everything off. You just need to cut about an inch more of the black tubing only away. So this one doesn't catch, I was just showing you. So you want to check the full range so when you go down, if it's catching at the bottom stroke, and you can't get it back up then you cut too much of the black tubing and the white parts getting jammed down in the the valve at the bottom so then you'll need to take the fittings off the bottom and cut the pecs back by an inch or so what you need to do is take it apart look at it see where you think you're hitting and adjust it we kind of have it down because we make so many of them but this one is pumping very smoothly um, so it's good to go and that's it. So it's really easy if you want to shorten your pump, you can shorten it to whatever length you, you want it to be. Um, and the reasons you might want to do that is you may be hitting stuff in your in your pump, you may have you know piping or something like that. Just make sure you're well in the water, you know, you're not gonna have seasonal shortages if the water table fluctuates, and try and pick a, a length that makes sense for you. The shorter your pump is, the better your performance is, the more gallons it'll pump and the easier it is to pump. So if you're hitting water at 20 feet and you can get a 100 footer clear down your well, that's great, but you may not need it. So you might want to shorten it up and then enjoy being able to pump with one finger instead of having to put 100 feet of effort into it. But anyway, um, again, email us if you have any questions, but that's how you shorten your pump. Thank you.